Say no to infanticide in Florida. Vote no. On amendment number four. Florida beware. Don't let them legalize murder in our state like Minnesota. The baby murder amendment four is clearly an attempt by the money-making abortion, aka baby murder industry. Mainly the most misleading name imaginable by a corporate entity, Planned Parenthood, which does nothing to help parenthood and has little intention of planning anything except the sale of baby parts and the extermination of babies. Look at the bill by Minnesota's Governor Tim Waltz, who signed a law allowing the murder of babies born alive after the attempts to murder them in the womb, or abortion, fail. Yes, during the first year after signing the Let Living Babies Die bill in May 2023, a total of eight babies were left to die. No food, liquid, or medical care after suffering horrific pain, torture, likely having their legs and arms cut off for future sale without anesthesia. In violation of the baby's constitutional rights, these babies are literally murdered via starvation and torture, without medical care. Keeping tabs on the amount of living births from failed abortions is not a good idea for politicians and houses of baby murder. So this year, 2024, Tim Waltz removed that requirement. Kamala Harris has yet to publicly denounce the practice of executing babies born after failed abortions. She is in favor of abortions up until birth, which allows many babies to be born alive even after all attempts are made in the womb to murder them. So, who knows how many more babies were murdered this year, not just in Minnesota but across America and the world, where these houses of murder often fail to treat, feed, or assist babies born after failed abortions. Without any oversight, the nation's abortion houses of death, Planned Parenthood being the largest and most dominant, are able to hide behind closed doors and torture, dismember, and dissect babies for sale. This is a huge unreported revenue stream, as well as the murder of babies who survive outside the womb. Please pray and share with all you know. Make sure to do your research and confirm my statements. Just when you thought Kermit Gosnell was the most prolific serial murderer, along comes Tim Waltz to legalize infanticide in Minnesota. God help us. Share, subscribe, follow, comment, please. This is not a political post. It's a Humans Lives Matter post. HealingTV.org.